Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. Bonjour, bonjour. bonjour. One, two, one, two. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Yes, yeah, well, so it's, it's my favourite album. Oh, there that you we've go. ever done. That's very good. I would say good start. I'd say one of the things we tried to do with the new album, Will of the People, is we kind of reflected on a lot of our previous albums. You know, because this is now our ninth album, and we kind of wanted to sort of like maybe like isolate what is really the style of Muse. You know, like we wanted to kind of work out because uh, the last three albums we did quite a lot of experiments with different genres, different um, producers, and things like that. So. So the first thing was that we, we planned to produce this album ourselves and the second thing was to really kind of look back and reflect on our history and work out what is the kind of most um, stylistic thing that is associated with Muse and then, and then really try to focus on those things and work on improving some of those kind of um, styles that we touched on in the past that we think are most associated with what Muse is known for. And there was kind of something, we, we kind of said it as a joke in an inter interview a while ago, but like, you know, we were approaching that time where the record label wanted to do like a greatest hits album or something, you know? And so kind of, we kind of thought, you know what, rather than do that, let's actually try to make an album which is like full of the best of Muse uh, songs. And that's really the kind of of, uh, approach that we took yeah yeah I mean liberation is just uh, as you say it's just it has a very operatic dramatic feeling to it anyway like musical theatre yeah yeah it, was, it always had that so you know in the way that we decided to play it it just you know it naturally came out, out that way because the the emotion you feel just listening to the music has that very operatic kind of bombastic feeling to it but yeah in some yeah, ways it is, it is kind of like in some ways a tribute to kind of like 70s prog rock or something you know yeah, there's, there's an element of that but we're trying to find a way to you know link to that sound but also bring it up to date you know because it's such a it was such a great time in uh, rock music as well and so we were thinking about ways you can sort of kind of use that style but make it make it bring it to something that's relevant today you know relevant to the world like cause the ly lyrics of that song are maybe more are kind of some of the more political if you know what I mean in terms of the album and um, and then finding ways to kind of incorporate modern sounds like synthesizers and vocoders and all this kind of stuff so it was um, you know that, there's always been a part of muse which is kind of both in the past and in the future you know like you know and trying to combine those two things. It's an element of nostalgia and it's also an element of trying to bring things from the past into the future. Well, yeah, I mean, France was uh, the first place we ever played outside of the UK and also was probably one of the first places we ever started becoming known even um, quicker than the UK and back home as well. So we've always had like an amazing relationship with the French public and certainly our French fans. We've just always loved playing here, and I think somehow we've just connected. I guess the fans have connected with us and the music somewhat, and vice versa with us and them. So it's always been like my one of my favourite places, if not my probably my favourite place to play. The, the 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 audiences have always just been like loud, sing along, have lots of energy. They have the very unique way of responding to music in a live environment, which I love. So I think I think I, think I might be French. Like, but I can't speak French. But but I think I might be. I, <laughs> I, 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 I did one of those uh, tests where you know, like you do like a blood test, and they tell you about your your history. You know, yeah. uh, I'm fifty percent from the Belgium France uh, France area. Yeah, yeah, and fifty percent Irish. So I'm not English, basically. So I always wondered why maybe uh, there's some connection here, and I thought maybe my ancestors were from here or something. I don't know. It was, the, it was for sure. It was the first gig we've ever done outside of the UK. Oh, oh I remember that. And we, yeah. it was when it was when um, there was high taxes on tobacco, you know, in the, in the UK, and alcohol was really high taxation. I think it might be still is. And there was a, basically a guy who was. We thought he was like wanted to be our manager, and he wanted to be. Um, like make Muse famous or something. We were like maybe 17 you know, at the time. And he said, oh, I've got your concert in Sherbrooke. You talking about Sherbrooke the first time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, we have a concert in Sherbrooke. And we were like, oh my God, amazing. Like we just played like, all we played is Devon at that point. We never played outside of even regional England. So, and because where we, where if I'm in Devon, there's ferries, you know, that go direct across to uh, La Rochelle or something like that, or Sherbrooke in this case. Mm. And so we basically went in his van, we went across and we played in this pub. And it was like a pub with like sailors, you know, like people like, in between work uh, on working on ships uh, the response was like not so good you know it was, it was like they didn't really like the noise we were making yeah, it was a bit rare but then when we finished the concert we realized the real motivation for this guy bringing us here because we basically we couldn't get back in the van because it was full of cigarettes and full of alcohol so we had to climb on top and it was, the space was this big 
It was like this big, and we were lying on top of like thousands of cigarettes and <laughs> bottles of whiskey and vodka. And, and we were like this, like looking at the top of a van for like, you know, six hours on a ferry, just waiting to get back to England. And he wouldn't let us get out, you know? And uh, so we realized kind of like it was, you know, that was our first experience playing in France. It was smuggling. We weren't doing it. It was this guy, okay? But it was uh, smuggling out cigarettes and alcohol, yeah. <laughs>